welcome to another beautiful edition of Matchstick Melee. Tonight we're doing our usual Grand Blue Fantasy versus PC tournament. Uh, and we have a smaller crowd, but a pretty effective crowd tonight. On the mic with me is Tabola. Hello. Offering uh, his voice to the proceedings. Tonight we're going to be working at the green station, as always, because it's my favorite color and it's my channel, so eh. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but yeah, let's get going with the first one. If everybody uh, in the room would like to uh, get in on the spectating, uh, just uh, remember it, there's a possibility of crashing if you start watching later. But the first match is going to be Seth Series and Callisto. And I'll just be typing that into the thing. So, gentlemen, if you would please uh, make your way to the green station before I do push-ups on you, I'll do it. Eh, 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 eh. Nope, green station. Nope, nope, nope. Green I'll type in. I'll type in uh, chat. I got it. <laughs> oh, they already began their, their oh match. Oh my god! I think they're so used to their, um, their, anytime they go into lobby that they, uh, I think, just go to the red station. It happened way too, oh, we made it in time. I made it in time, at least. Uh, I don't did, know if I made it in did time. Did you not? Okay. Uh... All right. I'll, well, I'll try my best, but it'll uh, I'll probably be way behind on some commentary. Yeah, I'm going to have to catch up a little bit myself. But uh, at least we know where they are. Round starting for me right now. Yep, same here. All right. Now, this is a very straightforward matchup. You'll see Ladiva doing what it, she wants to try and get in. And Catalina will just try and poke her out so that Ladiva never gets in close. Mm -hmm. So, you see um, Callisto just trying to keep some mid range pressure right now. But just one Lariat can get Ladiva in. Good reversal action by oh, yeah. Callisto. Getting in with those fireballs, doing a lot of work right now. Oh, we got the super. Oh, nope, with the super. <laughs> SPD. Oh, nice challenge from uh, Callisto on the headbutt. Yep. Um, basically, after each headbutt, it's going to be minus two frames uh, each time. So she's plus two frames the first headbutt, um, neutral the second headbutt, and minus two on the third headbutt. Okay. Little projectile, little stabby stabby, keep him out. Yeah. Her out, sorry, it's always rough with Lydia. <laughs> oh no, it, it doesn't help that the voice is also like very deep as well. Mm -hmm. No, I, I totally understand. Even uh, I actually played the regular Grand Blue Fantasy game, and it took me a while just to, uh, before I like, uh, even when I um, when I had her to just acknowledge that. But it's definitely um, once you get used to it, it's not so bad. Yep. Nice folks. Oh yeah. Empty jump to empty jump to wait it out. You gotta love it. Oh no. Oh no, we oh, oh no, we, we, now got, we got up. updated. Okay, okay, okay. So uh, I'm assuming Callisto won that round because it just ended. Yeah, yeah, the, the time frame was just too short. Alright, one for Callisto. <laughs> that was an unfortunate uh, whip grab, but oh. Ooh, nice SPD. Boink. Oh, okay. Yo, pressing Good buttons challenge. on wake up. What? Yeah. Who does that? <laughs> no, you have you have to do it against the diva sometimes. Oh, nice connection. The DP whiff, that's gonna get punished Ooh. for hell. Good, <sighs> good punish. Yo. Yeah, good punish. The Lariato. Alrighty, going into round number two. Yep. 
Just run up grab. Yeah, why it not? always seems to work. It always seems to work against grapplers. Like what, what's the what's the time frame on breaking a grapple in this? Uh, good question. I think it's like within three frames is like a normal tech, and then I think within nine to twelve frames is the late tech. Gotcha. Thing. Okay, so that's actually a, a, a much wider window than say Street Fighter. Oh, yo, yeah, no Street, no, Street Fighter grabs are insanely tight. I mean, that's the reason why you see people just grab all the time in Street Fighter. <laughs> nice. You always gotta love a, a nice double drop kick. <laughs> oh, the drop kick is so good. Oh, Especially yeah. because it gets the nice hard knockdown. I'll, and I'll then... play a low tier character if they've got a, a two leg drop kick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, should have been two of them, but that's fine. All right, so <laughs> Seth gonna take a game back. Yeah, so 1 1. Mm -hmm. All right, nice projectile little action there. Already just, just a nice little way to extend Catalina's uh, already pretty dangerous stabbing range. Yeah, no, the projectiles is such a dangerous part about her game because sometimes you'll just uh, think those projectiles are going to be coming and then she'll mix it up with like maybe doing a light, medium, or EX. And if it's an EX, just can get insane combos. Like, it wasn't insane combos, but he was able to get such good... Um, follow through with the mm -hmm. EX fireballs in the corner. Exactly. All right, Callisto now on match point. Hitting that 2M, one of, of Catalina's best buttons. Into the stinger. First the Dante nice skin conversion. for Catalina. Oh yeah, that, yeah. Uh, into the hard knockdown. Ooh. Some of this stuff Another. on, on Ladiva looks like an auto guard crush. Yeah, she, you know, she doesn't have like an actual guard crush like thing. Um, she just has a lot of moves that will allow her to be plus. So mm -hmm. uh, basically the whole gimmick of Ladiva will be to get certain plus moves into like an SPD. Uh, is it two out of three or three out of uh, oh, five uh, two, for this? Two out of three, yeah. Okay. So, uh, Kalisto takes it. Yep. Yeah, we'll do, uh, we'll do a three out of five for, uh, if there's, like, a tie or something at the end. Sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> Super Saiyan kids right with me. Lariato. <laughs> and that Lariat, though, it's such a, such a, it's such a strong move and such a dangerous move at the same time. You basically can just track so much of the distance by just doing the lariat and if it hits it's so great but the opponent can just crouch it and causes it to be so dangerous uh to throw it out sometimes there we go super saiyan kid oh they're already, already off okay cool All right. okay, so it should be percival versus lowane Oh, Super Saiyan Kid's name oh. always takes a million years to... Huh? Oh, wow. Oh. Beelzebub. Okay, okay. Another character I'm quite familiar with. So, um, Beelzebub and Percival. This is such a interesting matchup. And, oh, God, Super Saiyan Kid's rocking the Vrin weapon. I'm, I'm always just disappointed any time <laughs> anyone rocks a Vrin weapon. Oh my god. Oh god. That... Oh no. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> Bro, you just you just posted cringe. <laughs> god, guys, I was I was going to do some biased commentary and now I <laughs> now I can't. You I, I both have to root against you. <laughs> I hope you both lose somehow. <laughs> but, Please uh... tell me they have extra extra weird sound effects that go with them. No, I uh... wish they did. The, the min sounds would be amazing. Where, where are my where are my Soul Calibur 2 joke weapon sound effects? <laughs> oh, I miss those. So, good bait on the DP. And uh, Fury Fire got Percival or Super Saiyan Kid into the corner and gets a nice corner combo. Yeah, uh, tried to Saiyan. go for a setup. Kid got to get yeah. torn up over there. Yeah. Luckily, he managed to get out of the corner right now. Yep. Oh, nope. Oven Mitz is back on the attack. <laughs> <laughs> nice. First round Let's going go. to Fury Fire. <laughs> oh, dude. And they look so bad next to the rest of it. That's the that's the worst part. 
Okay, at least you haven't seen Zoe's one. Zoe's one's so, like, it's super cringe. Oh. All of them at least have Rin's regular face, except for Zoe's weapon. That's nuts. Yeah. All right, so uh, Fury Fire puts himself into the corner, but he's definitely trying to fight his way back down. Nice combo, but Fury Fire. Ooh, nice Ooh. challenge on uh, uh, Plus Frank. Yeah. Got the long sweep, set up some projectiles. Nice spot dodge there by Super Saiyan Kid. That was actually a roll, I think, because he actually got over on the other side, so. Oh, um, uh oh. I was going to do a lot of damage. It's not going to kill, but it's a lot of damage. Yeah. Feels just. Beals just doesn't have it. It's like the weakest boss character. Uh, I think I think it was more so he did a light auto combo. If he just did heavy, like that does like a good amount of damage. But he manages to catch Super Saiyan Kid yeah. and gets the dub. Percival just looks more annoyed that he lost rather than anything else. <laughs> just like, like, ah, this shit again. <laughs> Well, he has to look pretty at all times. Exactly. I mean, how, like, which if you have to think of the character that's the most prettiest and has to be pretty at all times, that's Percival. Why else would you wear garden uh, fencing on the bottom of your coat? <laughs> Not too pretty. All right, we got a little hunt down. Saiyan Kid wins the air to air. Not fooled by the teleport. Teleport is such a strong tool just to get out of the corner. Mm -hmm. Goes in for the dive kick. Oh, oh, nice charge into the BP. Yeah, that was a good challenge. They really kind of are fighting at like opposite angles. Heels is trying to come yeah, in and... yeah, from the sky and first is working his way up. Ooh, nice that was jump. a nice idea, but just bad execution. Yep. DX spinnerini there, Ooh. cutting his toes Dude. off, and here comes the finisher. Yeah. Not Still alive. Yep. Oh. Ooh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Even more unfortunate oh. for uh, Fury Fire. Oh, nice DP, but unfortunately, Kid was ready for it and gets the final hit. All right. Battle two. Last round. Let's see if uh, Super Saiyan Kid can get his win or Fear Fire can close it out. <laughs> Both just trying to just stare each other down. Yeah. Cool. Well, but, in, uh, in that instance, Fury Fire has the advantage because he has three sets of eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, nice. nice I'm not sure that DP was smart, but hey, it worked. Unqualified success is what we call this. Goes in the out. Yep. Stacking stock. up those, yep. Gotta get the 401k up. Oh, all right. So Fury Fire's gonna snag around back from Kid there and put himself on match point. Nice. Ooh, nice jump light. Yeah, take him right out of it. Oh, good overhead. Speaking of overheads, actually gets to build off of this one. Get the corner combo. Super Saiyan Kid just doesn't want to have anything more in the corner. Gets no. the sweep. Fortunately, it wasn't a juggle state, or at least the overhead didn't come in quick enough. Yeah, no, it does. The overhead you often do if they if you expect them to block it so that you at least have another action. Uh -oh. And ooh, gets the command grab! Bye! Oh, I am so proud of seeing that command grab. Woo! All right, that's gonna do it. Fury Fire taking that 2 0 over Super Saiyan Kid. Well done there, boy. Good showing yep. from Fury and, Fire. Yeah, and Kid didn't did, Kid didn't go down easy though. No, no. I mean, he was definitely uh, putting up a good offense there. He was definitely making good decisions, uh, making some good challenges. But Fury Fire managed to pull all the stops and you know gets the dub. Mhm. Mm all right, so we're gonna have uh, Kid keep going while he's warm up against Seth series. I took my number pad off my keyboard and it sucks. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> oh god, I, that 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 actually sounds like really horrible. I could never imagine taking out my numpad. Yeah. Or like, just... 
my, my keyboard's like super extra wide with it on, and I was like, man, I'm like, I'm reaching, I'm, I'm pronating like, like crazy over here, and yeah, whatever. All behind the scenes lore you guys don't need to know. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a Cody mirror? Oh. Says uh, Callisto in the in the Discord. <laughs> Oh, and then Fury Fire says, I didn't pick up bubs because of you, Tibola. <laughs> well, now I'm disappointed. What a, what a, what a Sundere uh, explanation of character choice. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I didn't pick bubs because of you, Bubba Babaka. Bubba -ba <laughs> hey, just because, like, it. So I get I main Lewayne, but I sub Beelzebub, and all the other uh, folks in the the room can uh, tell you it's like I love playing Beelzebub, but that's my sub. That's like probably the character I have like the second most experience with right now. And to see Lewayne or the the other Lewayne player go to Beelzebub, I was like, I think it's like, oh man, he's he's uh, paying homage to my Beelzebub, you know, trying to <laughs> trying to earn my affection. Now I'm now I'm just. Sad. Yeah, now you're just hurt. I'm just hurt. I picked this. I picked this main to hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> to to be fair though, uh, after what I've been uh, dealing with with my Lowane lately, I can understand why people don't want to uh, aspire to my level of Lowane. Mm. Uh, little known fact is uh, during last uh, lobby night. So every Wednesday, there's um, we community comes together to do um, a PC lobby night. Uh, there's actually one for PS4 as well. It's on Tuesdays, uh, so we have community days to fill up the lobbies uh, to um, capacity or try and like you know get as many people to play the game. You know, try and uh, reinvigorate the game because it's a great game. Mm -hmm. But while I was there, uh, I was just playing a couple sets, and then randomly I. Uh, uh, I finished the set, and then there's like two to three people outside of my cabinet who just renamed themselves to Tabola Simp. <laughs> it was absolutely hilarious. And then I think for the rest of the night, I kept getting like, oh, God, you're such a good Loane. It's like, <laughs> like, guys, you're making me cry. Also, you're making me cringe, but crying mainly. <laughs> that, that, that's always a, so so we've 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 gone from Stan to Simp. <laughs> and I can only imagine what the next evolution is going to be. Oh, God. I I, I already disprove of the simping practice. <laughs> oh, I think I, we're I, good. I, yep. All right. Alrighty. We're in. All right. So this should be a pretty big classic. So, uh, Super Saiyan Kid versus Seth series. These mm -hmm. guys play quite often in... Uh, they at least play a lot locally. Um but I would say, I, I think I've seen them play quite a bit in Callisto's uh, SSSO tournaments. Mm -hmm. And I think normally, uh, Set Series usually has the edge, but lately it seems like Super Saiyan Kid has been, um, you know, like, given Set Series a tough time. Yep. Oh, such noble ambition. That's what we call the flames of love. Rocking the intros. Oh, yeah. Believe I'm here for it, actually. <laughs> Well, they rocked the Ladiva's intro, so Super Saiyan Kid is like, yeah, let's let's do this. <laughs> uh oh, we're up and we're down. Walk up SPD, DP challenge, and got caught not blocking your angle. Yo, I like that reset. Jab into SPD. It's such a good reset. Nice. Oh wow! So wait, oh! drop kicks the overhead. Hell yeah! <laughs> Dude, that dropkick is so good. <laughs> All right, Super Saiyan Kid just trying to like gauge some type of reaction. But... Oh! Ooh. Now that that, that has a ton of iframes, right? The uh... no, no, so that's like that's what was da dangerous. It has projectile and vulnerability. The ah. other, so Ladiva has two SBAs. She has the one where she does the um the lariat, but then the other one where she does the command grab. Now, the lariat is projectile in full, but it's not um, physical attack in full, so it could have gotten hit there. That's why it was a little dangerous for him to do that, but he barely missed out on the, uh, the range of it, so uh, Set Series was able to punish it. That's crazy. Bro, let me just say, Kid is nailing these anti-airs this round. Yeah. Oh, he's so good at them. 
he is so good at these anti airs That's actually probably one of my weaknesses in most fighting games. Unless the unless the anti air itself is really really good. Yeah, the one thing that's nice about the like oh, um. Oh, no, that's not. Yeah. What? Oh, good, good, uh, good bait. At least to uh, you know mm -hmm. try and like make up for your uh, like. I think he DP'd. See, that's what I was saying. Ah, so, like, right. No, no iframes. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Oh, nice grab. Way to go, kid. Oh. So that was unfortunate. So, at the end there, set series was actually trying to grab, but in this game, there's five frames of throw in vulnerability when you get up. Oh. So when he tried to throw, he accidentally whiffed his own throw. SPD. Nice. Oh, we brought the we brought the double knee drop over too. That's crazy. <laughs> and the body splash. Wow. Good TP. We just get Ladiva a Russian accent already. <laughs> In Russia, mm. I SPDU. <laughs> Soviet Ooh. Russia, women still look like this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, pretty much whoever gets the next hit. Yeah, ooh, nice. Yeah, yeah, pretty kid's much. Still, kid's still low on life, though. Oh, ooh. that was... Oh, that... Yeah, he did the... That, that was definitely a lariat. Yeah. <laughs> ooh. Wow, the counter charge into the DP. Very nice. All right, kid gonna take that first game. Great reaction. Yeah, it really was. Believe in victory. Battle one. PCMR, buddy. PCMR. <laughs> Play on the Jumping platform you there. can actually do reacts to. <laughs> oh, no. I, mean, I was playing PS4 earlier today, and it was... I was having such trouble even just blocking overheads. Mm -hmm. It was crazy. But on PC, I never have a problem. Exactly. All right. Yo, get up, DP. We take those. Oh, oh. wow. Got the counter hit, but no follow-up. Yep. Yeah, kid definitely making very good use, well, except for that, of the uh, the length of his weapon, doing his very best job to keep uh, Seth at the at the tip of the hitbox. Yeah, no, it's, you have to do that as the personal player in this matchup. You just pretty much, I've heard somewhere where Ladiva is a mediocre character in mid range, but is the most dangerous character up close. Oh, I 100% believe it. Wouldn't be a, wouldn't be a good gappler, grappler if she were. <laughs> yeah, oh. no, it's... Yo, I like that, that turnaround. <laughs> Gets the suplex. Nice TP. Keeping Ladiv in the corner. You never see a Ooh. suplex from the front. Oh, we going for it. Yeah, no, wow. that, was, that was a great super from uh, Seth series. The fireball is pretty slow to come out, so there's a gap in between any type of normal he does and the projectile. So he was able to uh, sort of get that read that Super Saiyan Kid was gonna do the projectile and just follow up with an SBA of his own, mm -hmm. which is invulnerable to projectiles. All right, came up a little short on that AA. Nice punish. Okay. They seem to kind of hit a little bit of an equilibrium. Seth's trying to figure out his way around these anti-airs. And Super Saiyan Kid trying to figure out a way against these SPDs yeah. right now. I can't run when there's no more place to run. <laughs> please, please do it again, please. Yep, nice overhead. Oh, couldn't get the counter hit though, so no... Uh... Oh, back in the corner. Oh, that was a good side swap with that double leg drop. Hmm. You know you're a true Ladiva player by the amount of drop kicks you do. Uh huh. Seth here, he's showing us the strength of the drop kick. Show us your inner drop kick, kids. <laughs> See, just just drop kick. <laughs> it's like it's Ladiva's best button. It's a good move. I mean, heck, you, you charge that thing all the way up in, uh, on Armika, and it's like safe for days. Oh yeah, no, it's crazy. Oh, I like the, the backhand chops, too. That's a real pro wrestling move. Oh. Okay. All right, Get. kid down, but not out. Oh, oh no. Oh, it Ooh. missed. Yo, that was a great challenge. It missed. Yo, tie game. What? <laughs> I'm, I, you know, I'm flabbergasted that miss. That was, that was definitely within range. Nice so. clash. Seth's going to get to it first with the headbutt. 
right. Get the stacks. Whoa. Kind of yeah, one of the... Seth won that. Yeah, the problem with uh, Percival is his sword is basically a hitbox. Mm -hmm. So anytime he does his, like, giant swing, that entire range of that sword swing is a hitbox. So, like... Oh, no. He oh, got caught again. Oh, no. no. Super Saiyan kids got to do something to get uh, going right now. Oh, no. That's it. That's it. The, the errant DP was just waiting to be punished. And Seth's series is going to take that one 2-1 to one over Kid. Still, fantastic work by both players. Yeah, I know. I mean, Super Saiyan Ooh. Kid was definitely showing you how you play that matchup. Mm -hmm. You know, makes do... Good. Make sure you punish Ladiva for doing any air to airs or any like you know you any air like crazy. Yep. You make sure you keep her away, and you have to make some good reads uh, if she's up close and personal. And if you can do that, you'll be able to you know uh, sort of win that matchup. Exactly. All right. So now we've got uh, Fury Fire versus Callisto. I already know Callisto is not going to like this matchup at all. <laughs> if Fury Fire goes with Luane, if he goes with Beelzebub, Callisto is also not going to like this matchup. But it'll be, I think, a little bit more stomachable. Mm-hmm. All right. They're at their chairs. Good stuff. All right. Let's see. Time to type furiously. Versus oh, God, it's Luane. <laughs> yep. He's put himself oh. in, a, in a perfect position to be judged by you. <laughs> oh, gosh. There's, there's going to be so much judging, you don't even know. It's never going to stop. Never stop stopping. <laughs> All right, now we are actually rocking oh, wow. these intros. I don't know if I like this color palette for Luane. I always hate when you lighten up Luane. Just the, the, the green is awful. Yeah, no, it's, it's, and the other, I think, I'll only accept it if Yggdrasil's color looks nice. Hmm. I'll course, only allow it. Of course, it. Yigi has to look good. Yeah, no, that's the most important thing whenever you play Luane. Yeah. You have to make sure Yigi looks good. I mean, she's coming out. She has to look her best. Exactly. Right. Nice Annie air from Callisto, not allowing Fury Fire to get out of the corner for free. Goes with a 2-1-4-C, but... Uh, Callisto is able to challenge with the grab. Nice DP from Callisto. We have Rogue Dragoon in the chat saying he wants to see uh, Callisto get Mario partied. Oh, it's going to happen. It's it's for sure you're, going to happen. You're, you're going to have to explain that one to me. So any the um, kind of what is often associated with the Yggdrasil Super is Mario Party. Ah. Since essentially you have to play a mini game inside of Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. Gotcha. Well, it beats right. Reversal Edge, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> oh. I mean, I don't think it's that bad. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Alright, so oh, both yeah. of them are trying to kind of feel each other out. Yeah. Uh, this is, a, the this nice is things... a dominance establishment right here. Uh, one oh. thing you'll notice Callisto likes to do a lot is, um, and I've seen it happen, when you try and go in for the throw, he he just instinctively knows you're going for the throw and he'll just jump out. Mm. He'll like counter and since throws have such a huge uh, recovery frame uh, to it that he gets like a good punish. Oh, nice. Oh, good slide in. Optimal punish. Oh, he didn't spot dodge the parry. Can we get Luane like a cat in the hat? Like mod. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you some Dr. Seuss colors. Yeah, exactly. Oh. That's a dead cat, man. That is. That is unfortunate. <laughs> all right, Callisto on match point. All right, time to pull out all the cheese there, Fury. Yeah, hasn't even had a chance to, to bring out Yigi yet. Yeah, no, Callisto's killed him every single time. And that's kind of what you have to do in this matchup, is just kill Luane before he gets to Yggdrasil. Mm -hmm. But I think Fury Fire will at least be able to get enough meter based off of uh, what I'm seeing right now. Oh, good break. Yeah. Uh, now, you've got to be careful. Him. Yep. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, I actually think this is a mistake from Callisto because at this point, I'm fairly certain he's going to be in Yggdrasil range. 
Yeah, now, and, and Yggdrasil is a uh, neutral, yeah, neutral reset, so. Yeah, it's a frame one, too, so you have to literally hit Lewain the moment he gets up, or else you're, you're going to it. Oh, The double rocks seem to be pretty effective. Yeah, I mean, that was a pretty good Yggdrasil. That was oh, pretty good. Good overhead, gets the combo. Oh, uh, if, he had more, if he had a little more juggle in that, he could have taken, her, taken care of her in the corner. Ah, uh, it's going to do it. Callisto takes it over Fury Fire. Sure does. Clean 2-0. Uh, so yeah, it looks like Callisto is going to be the one to beat going into the... But uh, as it stands, yeah, Callisto's got one more fight left. Yeah. Should but be against... Right now we're uh, doing Fury Fire and Seth series. This ought to be an interesting one. Yeah. I wonder who uh, Fury Fire is going to go with. Like I've told, I uh, yesterday I was having a uh, pretty good conversation with one of the top um, Ladiva players, Jan, uh, about the Luane v Ladiva matchup, and I think we both came to the consensus that it's actually in the favor of Luane. Oh, that this, wait, wait, a favorable matchup for Luane? Luane has, in my opinion, two favorable matchups. Oh, do, uh, do go it, on. <laughs> So, Ladiva and Matera, I think, are the two favorable matchups that Loane has. Uh, the reason why the Ladiva matchup is, and the first off, let me put it out there: you have to be playing optimally as the Loane player for mm -hmm. it to be a six-four matchup. Uh, but Loane essentially is actually one of the strongest zoners in this game. People really don't consider Loane to be a zoner because, well, you know. Uh, his only like projectile is the cat bot and that's kind of like a delayed bot but they never take into consideration that the bros you send out are very strong projectiles so mm. what you're able to do against Ladiva and Matera is you're able to do a combination of sending out the bros and using the cat bot to sort of like keep them out or catch them in doing something that they shouldn't be doing so so he is going with Luane, and the other thing too in this matchup that makes it very annoying for the Ladiva player is both of Luane's supers are basically stance supers that can't be grabbed. So oh. a lot of Ladiva's offense kind of gets ruined because you can't you can't do an SPD. Gotcha. See, like right now he's trying to keep him out. Like oh yeah, this. no, you you should play super coward versus. <laughs> yeah, and the other thing too that makes this matchup not so bad for the Loin player is that Ladiva doesn't have a reversal action other than her super. So when you get Ladiva in the corner, you just keep Ladiva in the corner. Right. But then this is the reverse part of it. Ladiva is in. Our yeah, Ladiva's in, the corner. in your corner. Ladiva's yeah. drinking your milkshake. And he's bringing all the boys to his, her yard. <laughs> and goes in for the Ladiva easy is the Fergie of GBPS. <laughs> god, oh my god. <laughs> Alright, well round two. <laughs> yeah, well that one's sinking. <laughs> Alright, nice challenge. Oh my goodness. And this is where it happens. Empty jump so SPD is, the, is just the, the biggest middle finger to anybody. <laughs> It it gets everyone. It does. By the way, I love that the uh, the clash happened and the uh, the flutter kick still got like ninety percent of its hit off, hits off. The flutter kicks are is such a good move. With it Lewain. is. All right, going into yeah, uh, chicken HP. fight. Let's see. Oh, good spot Ooh. dodge. Yeah, no, that's actually how you properly counter that uh, super <laughs> is to. Do a combination of spot <laughs> dodge and rolling. Ladiva just took out that whole family. Like that was straight up from Millicide. Oh, uh, unfortunate. Oh Stop. wow. Yeah, so uh Fury Fire was trying to go for the unblockable, uh, which involves you doing the universal overhead, which actually puts you in a jumping state. So uh Seth series tried to do the uh 720, but since Luane was already in the air really couldn't uh, get that off and ended up getting hit as a result. God, that SPD was so fast after the overhead. Oh, it's crazy how fast you can do the SPD. Because uh, one of the things that kind of makes um, Ladiva also scary in this game is that 
the assist button allows you, or not the assist button, the um, the skill button allows you to do SPDs. So you're able to like do jab uh, or like tick SPDs. Mm -hmm. And it's really easy to do. Like you'll see a lot of like top uh, Lediva Yo, players. Oh, nice combo there. Yeah, Fury. Oh. oh my God, Fury got the kill on that one. That Fury. was the, probably the most effective like series of, uh, of Yigi I've seen. Fury Fire, you've done me proud. You've done me proud. I don't think there was uh, a single missed option in there, was there? No, no, so there was also one of the things is normally all of Yigi's stuff are not supposed to combo. However, if you get counter hits, you can combo into certain things. That's so, nuts. So he did some bad spot dodges and then the dive kick was also a counter hit. Oh, and Fury's definitely, t definitely getting some payback for that last round. Yeah, I oh. know. He's... All right, first game. round going to Seth series in game two. Battle two. All right, let's see if Fury Fire can uh, pull through and take this game. But this is the one part of the place you do not want to be as the low lane player. You never want to be in the corner no. against Ladiva. And I see and he's. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, so what Set Series is trying to do there, he's really trying to do a drop kick. The reason why he's doing that is because one of the strongest things to do with Lil Wayne is to call the EX bros while mm -hmm. you're in the corner because they come out so fast. However, the drop kick is so, like, has such a strong clash level that it will almost always beat whatever uh, the opponent's trying to do. So it'll hit both of the bros. Yo. Is that enough or is scaling going to uh, save him? I think. Oh, oh wow. Wow. That, that, that move always surprises me on how much damage it deals because it always seems like it's not enough, but... Yeah, and, and like, I don't know. It, it seems like when it's done, even when it's done raw, it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of damage behind it, but then, like, I don't know. Like, it doesn't scale very much at yeah. all like, towards the end of combos. What? I don't mean, like... Nice SPD. Was that C, was that C level? Uh, no. That was not... Uh, it might have... No, it wasn't C level, I don't think. I think he did C level afterwards. Oh, okay. Yeah, but one thing you can also notice too is um, if Set Series is actually using the easy input for some of these SPDs, like he did it right there mm -hmm. uh, by looking at the cooldown on the top uh, right for uh, Set Series, and there's perks that, there's perks to doing the easy input too. There you go. Nope. <laughs> Taking that uh, one. All right. Uh, Fury Fire decides to end the super early. Probably just wants to get the for sure damage. Yep. Uh, oh, good trip. The Gets the Tatsu back. All right. Close. Now he's all out of cooldowns. Oh, but he's up. But he's not getting hit by that. Very nice. That was a spectacular read. He just has to actually yeah. score a hit. And there it is. One round nice 2A. Yeah, Fury on match point. Battle two. Engage. All right. Back to stratagem time. Good slide. Gotta... Gets out of the headbutt. That's always optimal. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, nice drop kick yep. from a series. Oh, nice Lariat. The Lariat. Oh, God, oh, three in a row. Set series, you're a god. There, they, you're, you're very good to be able to get three SPDs in a oh, row, yeah. but getting three Lariats in a row, that's a whole nother level. Oh, yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> so it's like, oh, all right, me. one more time. <laughs> he just has to block this. He just has to bet. Oh. Oh. Well, no, that's fine. The super ended, yep. but he is. Oh, that's unfortunate. Ah, uh, nice the SPD's SPD. gonna do it. No, it's not. He's still up. Yeah. Uh. series match that takes it. So now we're on our final game, round. Yeah. So that was a little dangerous. That was the B version of the Tatsu, oh. and that's actually minus two. Yeah. Or no, there's more than minus two. I think it's a minus four. I like Fury's uh, attempted a walk under. Unfortunately, he just ate, you know, <laughs> ate it on the opposite side. Yeah. Empty jump oh, no SPD. Look at, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Read it? Oh, wow. Good Whoa. roll. That was an insane roll. Whip. Good SPD. That was uh, easy input SPD, so damage scales a little bit on that. All Gets right. the grab. Yep. The X Bros. And we have enough for Yigi. Oh no, oh. that was that that was definitely He's Yigi. Not make that it. was I guarantee you that was Yigi. Oh my goodness. 
unfortunately for Fury Fire, <laughs> Seth Series gets the win and showing how strong Ladiva can be. Yep. Although still a fantastic showing from Fury Fire. Oh, he's he is not happy. <laughs> Oh, it shot up to seven frames. Oh no, that's that, that's the unfortunate part about you know playing on net play is that you know spikes can and will happen even yeah. if you're on the like, internet connection. Like, you know, someone can download the torrents or you know Comcast decides to uh, be the great philanthropistic company it is and uh, give you a ton of spikes. And so, unfortunately, uh, Fury Fire, uh, man, it was on the receiving end of that spike and uh, sadly uh, gets the loss against Seth Series. But he was still putting up a good effort oh, against yeah, him. He no. was still, yeah, it was still uh, very close. Last game, last round, if he would have gotten the Iggy off, it could have very much well been a very different game. Oh, absolutely. But uh, now it's kind of like the uh, how many licks to the center of a Tootsie Pop. The world will never know. <laughs> exactly. And now we have Super Saiyan Kid versus Kalisto, and now he's playing Beelzebub. So this is one thing. Super Saiyan Kid's been pretty hype on trying to play Beelzebub lately. And uh, so I'm very curious to see uh, where it's at right now. And especially against Callisto. Callisto plays a lot against me with Beelzebub. So Callisto is very aware of this matchup. So he'll know certain things that um, to look out for against Beelzebub's, but I'm not sure if Super Saiyan Kid has the right knowledge of Catalina as Beelzebub. Hmm. Yeah, I'm kind of with Rogue Dragoon. Everyone seems to have a pocket uh, pocket deals these days. <laughs> and it's because I have a pocket Beelzebub. It's all because of me. I make Beelzebub look cool. <laughs> but, uh... You definitely so disheartened my, my compatriot uh, two weeks ago when, when he was playing Beals and you were playing Beals, and I was like, you gotta watch <laughs> this guy, and he's like, not a one. <laughs> Alrighty, well, right now, Callisto has the edge in this matchup, and they're both trying to read each other out, but Callisto gets the nice anti-air and the corner push. And now he's just trying to throw projectiles, but unfortunately, Beelzebub's projectiles Ooh. pretty slow, and... Oops, these are backwards. Whoops. <laughs> I was like, wait, wait. <laughs> Does not compute. But yeah, Callista with that first round. It's a nice sweep. Oh. One okay. thing I would like seeing from Super Saiyan Kid, he's doing a lot of sweeps into overhead. I want to see him, like, maybe cancel that into, like, one of the other specials, because... It's 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 an alright tactic, but it seems like it's could be better used for like the hair whip or like a projectile just to um get a little bit of spacing. No, he has but the whip. Does he have up. the nae nae? <laughs> Shimmy catches a Super Saiyan Kid, but unfortunately Callisto wasn't able to capitalize on it. And whip oh, DP, is... and then. I'm assuming Callisto was just pressing buttons and just managed oh. to get crap out of that. I say that that Seth vacuum is no joke. Oh, it's it's crazy. Like it's a, it's borderline between a great move and a garbage move because <laughs> when no, because it's actually the only special in this game to have an extended cooldown, even for the light and medium versions. So you can't. It's the only special. Even if you use the technical input, you can't throw out multiple times. Dang, that's but. Nice. Oh, all right. We got the that's... stinger pressure into the corner. Eats the projectile, gets a follow-up stinger, and on the opposite side from the wall bounce. Nice stuff, Kalisto. Yo, Ooh, armor through using uh, Catalina's unique ability and its full effect. The virtual cap shield is my friend. <laughs> nice. And he gets the nice 2M and closes out this round. Yeah, Catalina's lucky in her design in that she doesn't suffer from what, like, what a lot of other uh, long weapon characters get where they like get choked up or you know make half-hearted swings and all that. She's using the full range of that blade. Yeah, no, it's... 
She she reminds me of uh, Mitsuru from uh, Persona 4. Like Mitsuru is very much a mid range character, but such a versatile character that had almost everything. And Callisto just had a array of corner pressure and ends up closing this and yeah manages to get the the round. And was that uh, that was two games? That was two games. Oh, man, we did it. Callisto, you're welcome. Cal yeah. <laughs> he he's play, he's played me enough to uh, um, to have that Vyazabov, uh game plan burned into his uh, his hands when he plays. So uh, that does it. Although we could have a final uh, we could have a final match between Seth and Callisto. They're they're very close. It's essentially like winners you know winners oh uh, yeah winners grand versus losers grand. Uh, you know what I'm saying, anyway. Um, yeah, no, 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 no. Uh, yeah. Personal opinion, I would like to to have that winners, uh, like that grand finals. Yeah, let, let's do it. Yeah. Can we get a three out of five? Because I, I feel like Callisto Seth. got uh, set series early on, but I've got this feeling that set series kind of didn't feel so good about that. I think he wants to, you know show the world that he can take down Callisto with his Lediva. Mm-hmm. Well, it seems like Seth is totally down for it. <laughs> Fury Fire, no. This is not a grand finals. We we, we don't we don't approve of grand finals. We approve on, of I have grand an emote finals. For this. I have an emote for this. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I made it for me, but I can also use it for others. <laughs> See, the only grand finals I will approve of is the people who put grand finals at the top of their um, their overlay when they're doing a tournament because they can't fit grand finals. Oh, yeah. I remember uh, I was watching a tournament the other day and they had to do that because uh, their overlay, just based off of their font size and their font, they couldn't have grand finals. They had to have grand finals. Mm. And luckily this is grand blue fantasy, so it kind of, it, it, it equals itself out. Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, I so while we're while we're on a tiny, I just want to point out, I went through and, oh, what happened to my, there we go, okay. I went through and I fleshed out all my, uh, my sub emotes. So we have these options now. If you're looking in the chat, I now have uh, because I'm old and I make a ton of references to things that aren't t on TV anymore. Um, I have a Captain America. I understand that reference one. I've got a uh, Fry as Pog. I've got the Boo from The Simpsons. Uh, Chun Li going ooh, and then uh, just, a, just a, a nice little modification of my own logo. So instead of Matchstick, it just says Sick. Alrighty, well. Yep. Anyway, on to the match. Yeah. Seth series already has been taking a bunch of offense from Callisto, and right now he's, he's got to make something work right now uh, to get Callisto, but you know, one hard knockdown is all it takes. Ooh, good DP. So one of the unique things about Lediva's uh, forward grab is that it actually does not knock them down. It actually puts them in a neutral state. So anytime you do a regular grab from Lediva, you can basically, if they, if they don't know it's a, a restand, essentially, you know, you can just do an SPD. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. I, I really do think the designers at Arxis did a good job of designing Lediva as a grappler. Oh, yeah. I, I would say no real qualms. Needs green hand, though. <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> You're not a true grappler until you have the green hand. Yeah, some way to cancel fireballs. Yeah, the with, only way Lediva has... But, but to, be fair, to be fair, Lediva at least has ways to deal with fireballs. So not great, but they, she at least has ways to deal with it. Right. Ooh, good counter hit. Yeah. Lariat. Oh, two lariats. Ooh, gets oh. caught with the counter hits. I love the hold that you can do on that. It's just like rear and back, like headbutts are coming. Mm. Headbutts are coming. So that's actually the medium version. The medium actually takes uh, a little bit extra time, but it's, I believe, plus two. Ah, gotcha. All right, all right so things see. are about Ooh. even in, in all fairness. Ooh, that could have been the round. Oh, and that is the round. Mm. <laughs> all right, Seth coming out with that first game.
See, he, he's, he says exactly what I was thinking. He 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 knows. He knows he can take down Callisto. But Callisto, he's not, you know, he's not lying down. He's putting up a good fight. Yeah, for sure. Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage. Watch this match between a stabber and an aggressive hugger. <laughs> Oh man, getting caught in with the nice frog splashes. Yep. All right, life points riding about, life points, life totals riding about even, but Seth series nice. on a roll right now. Yeah, reset into SPD. Callisto's got but... full super, but so does Seth. Nice grab yep, from Callisto. Round. Gets not too much off this Oki. Oh, in oh, fact, that should be it. Some... Yep. That should be the round. Yoink. <laughs> Get that drop kick. And of course, the classic uh, Spider-Man fingers. <laughs> Battle two. Thwip, thwip, bitch. <laughs> Our nice counter hits yep. and oh, into a nice corner character. Double Letty up. Oh! Hard knockdown. Ooh, the nice. late DP. Yeah, the DP, get, get it in there. Yeah, Glitz has been on point with these DPs. I mean, some of them have been missing, but for the most part, they've all been, like, a lot of them have been finding uh, traction and gets him with the frame trap. And goes nice. for the hard knockdown. I think he actually might have been able to win there, but uh, I don't think awesome. he was confident in it. Yep. I think we're just waiting for, for confirm into supers at this point. Yeah, that should be the round. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh, no. But um, luckily, Callisto is able to get the cross off. Yeah, and... still had the presence of mind to come through. I know Callisto is kicking himself in the feet from that. <laughs> and Seth Series is also kicking himself for taking that uh, um, cross-up. I mean, sometimes you just take cross-ups, you know? They're hard to guard oh, for I'm a reason. Taking cross-ups in a game with a block button. Well, okay. I, yeah, I, 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 I can't yeah. judge. I, I, get, no, no. I get hit by cross-ups all the time. Yeah, <laughs> it happens. It does happen. It happens in Mortal Kombat. It happens in... Soul Calibur. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, Soul Calibur's the worst. <laughs> Freaking 2D cross-ups because she's basically the only one. Alright, gets a nice confirm into SBA. Um, oh, and manages man. to catch the uh, whiff punish yep. the drop kick. And Callisto riding it back, bringing it to 1-1. One, one. Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage. Now the the worst place to take to take a cross up, Tekken 7. Oh god, I'm glad I don't play that game because I don't want to uh, deal with all the uh, the various things I have to like memorize. Yeah, in exactly. I didn't. Like, I, I want to play a fighting game. I don't have to like read a technical manual for a nuclear <laughs> submarine. Thank you very much. Uh, shout out to all the grinders of Tekken. Yeah, exactly. Seven. No, those, no, nothing but respect for the Tekken players. Just not my not my deal. Wow. Here we're talking about Tekken Seven, and Callisto is just like putting Callisto, on a show yeah, right now. Exactly, Callisto just went through a freaking stomp. All right, nice anti-air. We can only get away with that for so long. Oh, manages to uh, catch the anti-air in startup animation, mm -hmm. and nice tail end of the five H. Oh, Ooh, that's what I should bait. Oh, oh, oh. Hello. <clears throat> All right, let's wow. see. Oh, that should, I think, be the round. Yeah, that might be. And I'm like 90% sure. I, I would have eaten my boots. <laughs> eaten my boots if that didn't uh, kill. It, it was definitely close enough for someone of uh, Ladiva's strength to, to claim the round. <laughs> Ooh, nice reset. Ooh. All right, here comes the Oki. Oh, surprisingly nothing out of both people. Yeah, I, I'll be honest. I saw DP from Callisto. And I think that's what uh, Seth saw, too, because he did back up. Yeah. But Callisto was like, nah, I'm, I've had enough getting uh, punished off these DPs. Thank Ooh. you very much. Nice Good corner connection. I think that's going to whip. <gasps> it is. Oh, my goodness. Oh, was that just so a timing issue? Once again, I know. Oh, that that was it. That was the round. He could have comboed into SSBA, but unfortunately, I think uh, he didn't uh, have the presence of mind to wind up the 720. Yeah. All right. And I don't think he wanted to use easy input because that's really a dangerous thing to do with Ladivas. 
Easy inputs, yeah, it makes your uh, super uh, a lot easier to do, but you lose out on a ton of damage. Gotcha. We're going right to the corner. Yeah. Okay. All right. Nice with on the DP, but it's unfortunately a little too late oh. on the drop kick. DP short, but no punish. Right. Yep. There we go. Once again. Ooh, oh, nice third headbutt. Managed to catch Callisto pushing a button. Now that's got to be a gamble, right? Like I, I know you can yeah, use only it's so very many much headbutts. a gamble. Okay. Um, because there's enough uh, space in between for it to be like a legitimate frame trap. But if oh. you like, if you choose not to do anything, you can um, basically fall into the trap of Ladiva still having her turn. So you have to make those decisions against Ladiva, and it's very dangerous. Gotcha. All nice right. walk up grab. Why not? Again. again. Hey, you know what? Oh, not again. Not <laughs> Oh, it's got, oh, it's got, oh yeah, there it is. There it is. <laughs> Do it again. Oh, nope. Ooh, gets him with the Lariat. Nice corner, or, uh... Yeah, like maximum to range, too. SPD. Her? Ooh, he X SPD. Yikes, I think he widened like that up, life. too. Good DP. Uh, nice Way to challenge the headbutt. Ooh, oh, the oh that could have been it. Duck the Lariat, gets the super confirm. It's gonna be damage. That's gonna be heavy damage. But Might not it's kill, not gonna though. be the round. No, it's not gonna be the round. But either hit from uh, either player will do it. Yeah, I'll say a good confirm here will do it. And yeah, Callisto on the board and sets himself up for match and tournament point. Callisto throwing out the projectiles. Mm -hmm. Doesn't want to have oh. Lidiva get in. And ooh, I respect that. Yeah, that was bare edge. That was ballsy. He's a stud. Yeah, that could have easily gone the opposite way. All right, we got the Stinger taking Ladiva to the corner. Nice. Ooh, good confirm. Yep. And uh, came in the front. Unfortunately, uh, that should be the round. That's uh, yep, it. Yep, that's it. Callisto. Bam. Looking clean. <laughs> Callisto trying to show with one of the best Catalinas in Chicago can do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, that was that was beautiful to look at. Yeah, I always love watching Callisto's Catalina. Outside of like the few or so um, times he will, like he sometimes might make an execution error, which he often kicks himself in the foot for, he makes some of the absolute best decisions. And it often uh, amazes me to see like how much he's able to get off of just like his reactions alone. It's right. insane. Yeah. Well, I guess that's going to uh, bring things to a close for tonight. Uh, still, again, very exciting matches, though we had uh, so few competitors. But, yeah, what uh, what slobber knockers all these were. Um, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, let's take a quick look at the final results. No, that shouldn't be, but whatever. Um, so, yeah, first place, Callisto, obviously, got there by points and then defended, defended the, uh, the top spot against Seth. No run back there. Uh, Seth Series coming in a very solid second with Fury Fire squeaking in third. Unfortunately, Super Saiyan Kid, you were in last place, but, I mean, no one can say you didn't do the work. Yeah, no, I mean, like, like even... I, I've said this to Super Saiyan Kid multiple times. Like, even if he doesn't do get the results he would like to in tournaments every time i see him play i always see just something there that is like very strong and like definitely something that mm -hmm. if he's able to work a little bit hard like a little bit more he's able he might like legitimately be like a a uh, top three or like a tournament winner and like the next tournament like i think he he's very close to being that like tournament finals player that i know he wants to be right right yeah it's it's like uh if they were drawn out like the ability star and you just like you see that <clears> one <throat> s but then everything is all you know everything else is like like b and c and stuff like bro if you shored that up like yeah no it's like again i i legitimately think that if he can just uh smoothen out some of the edges in his game uh i would not be surprised if the next time me and him play he takes me out of tournament oh yeah 
Oh, that's... that's how much that's how much I actually think of like his ability. He's come such a long way too. Like mm -hmm. uh he's like he was actually one of like the more new players of like just a new uh, FGC player and he's been putting in the grind and to see that player that we saw tonight and the one that I played like three months ago, it's a very different player. Oh yeah, so. I mean, I, I, I think I can see the difference myself, like, like you know, tournament to tournament. So, because he has yeah. been stopping by more and more often. And yeah, right. it's just, uh, the reactions have been on point. The anti-airs were, were spectacular. Just, uh, yeah, I think yeah. it just comes down to matchup knowledge and choices and yeah, and if he can, if he can uh, iron those out, then I think we got ourselves another star player. I 100% agree. Um, but yeah, all right. Well, I guess that's going to be it for tonight, folks. Uh, thank you for stopping by and watching our Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. Uh, if you guys want to get in on the next one, more than likely we'll have another one popping next Thursday. Uh, keep an eye out on Twitter for the announcement. Or, uh, you know, just give us a follow here on Twitch. We'll always let you know. We start the stream a little bit early so everyone can get in if they want to. Uh, thanks very much to... Oh, lose my goddamn brain. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much to Tibola for coming through and offering some insightful commentary tonight. Because otherwise it just would have been me, like, spouting generic FGC terms and keeping track of things you can already see with your eyeballs. Oh, my pleasure. My pleasure. <laughs> and uh, super shout outs to Seth Series and Callisto for coming through. And uh, like, it was both their first times on the channel. So super great stuff. Uh, yeah. And good performances, everybody, all around. Thank you, everybody, for watching Matchstick Melee. Uh, we will be back Monday for Street Fighter. Uh, it's going to be a good one. Hopefully, we can get that match arena all settled away so people can contribute to the to the prize pool. Uh, we've been having a lot of the uh, the fighting game... The fighting game divisions of the uh, the Air Force, like swinging in to, to take shots at our, our Midwestern crew. <laughs> so, uh, you know, want to want to put some money on it, get people getting serious about it. Uh, outside of that, yeah, just uh, we're doing good stuff, and we're we're lined up for a lot of cool things in the future. Uh, trying to keep the the FGC thing humming here in the Midwest, uh, like a lot of people are, but you know, we're there too, <laughs> and. Uh, it's just, you know, we're just here to have a good time, man. Nice, chill tournaments, positive uh, positive environment, all that neat stuff. Uh, tomorrow, I actually have my first paid gig doing a Mortal Kombat tourney for uh, for Rectify Gaming Arena, so that's nice. Uh, got a Mortal Kombat 11 tournament, of all things, and it's huge. It's already, like, 70 people in this thing, um, which is, like, probably twice as many as I thought people still played Mortal Kombat 11. Judging it's got from, great net code. It's got great net the, code. Yeah, I say judging from all the hate it, get, it, it gets on the reg, but uh, you know, I'm. I mean, it was an Evo game, so people probably still don't want to put that uh, the, uh, the the, the game down. Yeah, they, they don't want to. Yeah. Well, yeah, like that. They'll people will play the mediocre game with the good net code uh, versus the incredible game with the bad net code. I think like nine times out of ten, just because it's like yes, like it's not great but I can get in and it's not, it doesn't, you know, frustrate. I don't teleport all over the place. Marvel versus Capcom three. I'm sorry. What <laughs> street fighter five. Um, and, uh, you know, and oh. these, you get in, you play your matches, you get out. And, and that's, that's always a good one, but, uh, we're going to be signing off for tonight. Thank you once again to everybody. You guys were great. Uh, catch you later. Thanks for watching. Boop.